To reach the summit of Mount Apo, we need to climb 10,000 feet or roughly 3,000 meters. And because the volcano rises out of the nearby ocean, the starting point of the trail is only a few hundred feet above sea level. So the majority of the 10,000 feet we have to climb will be done in the first two days. What makes the Mount Apo Circuit Trail so unique is that we pass through six stages on our way up and back down from the summit. Stage one, we trek through the lowland farms and we pass through villages, which is a great way to experience the local lifestyle. Adorable. Stage two, we're gonna make our way through the magical mossy forest, a very special and rare ecosystem only found here in the mountains of Mindanao. This forest will be absolutely gorgeous, but it will be treacherous, very swampy, and the location for the campsite on day one. Then the most challenging stage, stage three, will be waking up at 1 a.m. to start our climb up the boulders. Okay, everybody's packed up. These volcanic rocks are open to the elements and there are sulfuric gas vents all around us. And our aim will be to make it up this steep, rocky face before sunrise. Then stage four is the lake found in the volcano's dormant hey. crater. Nice view. Here we will have a chance to rest and prep for the final climb to the summit, which will be the fifth and highest stage. If we can make it to the summit, then we will have completed stage five. And finally, the sixth stage is the descent, which takes us down another side of the volcano where we will have one more night camping at another beautiful volcanic lake before we loop back down to base camp. A total of three days trekking and plenty of physical and mental challenges await us. But the best part is, you guys are invited for the climb with me and to share this experience together during the video. So if you're ready, let's begin. Subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoy this video, leave a like. Okay, let's go. Good morning. The adventure starts now. Up there in the distance, you can see the summit of Mount Apo the Philippines' tallest mountain. A dormant, I hope, volcano. Everybody here, there's quite a lot of people here as well. They've got a lot of gear. We've just had a big meeting. I've just got a little backpack with some water and a, and a fleece. So are you ready? We're gonna climb the tallest mountain in the Philippines, or fingers crossed. Let's go. Hello. Morning. Hello, sir, good morning. Good morning. One thing I forgot to mention, and another reason why I'm nervous, is I woke up with diarrhea. <laughs> so, 1 a.m., my stomach just went into cramps and uh, I evacuated my intestines and lower bowel area, which was nice. Um, the good news is I think it's all, it's all out. unsung heroes of every trek. The hardworking porters and for a small fee you can give them bits and bobs that you don't want to carry yourself. Now being a solo traveler I don't carry a tent or a sleeping bag so I've had to rent them and I, they weren't heavy so I chucked that in the portal bag. One more thing to mention is this is the Mount Apo circuit trail we're doing. There is a two-day summit where you start from the bottom and you would go to the top and come back down in two days. But this is a three-day loop around the volcano, taking in the sights and the scenes and summiting and then coming down. So it's a bit longer.
Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Mount Apo Sabi. Juventus, good Whoa. team, good team. Yes. <laughs> they play in black and white like my team. Holy crap, this is, this is gorgeous. Hot. Adorable. Time to say goodbye to the views for the time being. Because the rolling agricultural hill stage is finished. We're heading into the misty mountains now. Into the forest, I should say. searching for paradise in the Philippines even if we haven't been to El Nido or Coron yet we found it we found it up here in Mount Apo 1000% Wow. Wow. So beautiful. So peaceful, so quiet. what happens from this point. <sighs> Paddy, you never forget this feeling of being in the mossy forest in Mount Apo. This is beautiful, magical experience. It might just look like a walk in the park. It might just look like the forest near where you live. But for me, my eyes have been opened to a whole different type of environment. And even though I'm sweating, it's quite cool. We're going higher and higher up into the mountain. And the wildlife here, the little things you see moving and birds dipping down to collect something for their nest up ahead. Ooh. If I had a better pair of shoes, I would be flying up this, but I'm glad I'm going slow because I get to share with you the little moments that I'm having. I've just been, just been thinking a lot. You have a lot of time to yourself in such a beautiful place. So many, so many inspirations and thoughts come to you. I think nature brings out the best in, in everyone really, but it, I just wanted to say that I feel so 
so grateful and so happy and so privileged and so blessed to be able to share not just the Philippines but this mountain with you because you know I know a lot of people who watch this you won't be able to come here you know maybe it's just too far away maybe you're suffering with injury or old age your knees have gone or something you know and you're watching you're sat at home and I just hope you enjoy as much as I am I mean it's never the same you know that I can feel this the texture the rough texture of these leaves and the the smells and the visceral experience of actually being here but if you're sat at home somewhere and then you're enjoying this I just want to say thank you thank you for watching it means a lot This is fun. Challenge. <sighs> ah. Just look at this. It's gorgeous. Pastel orange. That's gorgeous. Okay, welcome to camp. Everybody is setting up and pitching their tents. I'll show you my tent situation in a minute. And we're actually camping in the moss forest. And let me show you around. So most people are just camping here and uh, the porters and the guides are cooking up some dinner up there. We'll probably be eating soon. And these are some guys who just arrived and I'm over there somewhere. These are the layers that I was telling you about that I put with the porter. Um, I got this jacket in, uh, in Davao actually. It's got like a cool gold lining. So it's going to keep you warm for sure. And then I've got a fleece from H&M. 300 baht. And then a little fleece hoodie thing. And then I've got my little trekking pants that I bought in Vietnam when I did the caving. And then some dry socks. You can't beat dry socks, guys. Oh my god. I'm all mixed up. I've got Columbia, I've got North Face. No brand loyalty. <laughs> so, this is my little humble abode. I've got my gear out here. I'm just drying off some of my stuff my socks, my GoPro, and my shoes, and my underpants, and my shorts that I trekked up in because everything was just soaking wet through sweat because it was really, really muggy. And the second we got to camp, because I was soaking wet through from sweat, I got really cold, so I quickly dried off and got all my layers on. But there's people over there, just no shirt on. <laughs> so maybe I'm just showing that I'm a soft southerner. And then this is my little tent. Should we get in? Shoes off. Okie dokie, here we are. It's a one man tent, and I got a little sleeping bag, which the company rented. So I've got a very nice situation. 
and then we'll uh, get our wake up call at 2.30 a.m. to continue up the mountain, finish our way up to the summit and there's going to be some surprises along the way. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> this is um, Filipino mountain coffee, aka powdered coffee in a plastic lid or something. <laughs> I ordered a flat white, but I don't think they got my order. Have you seen that thing on YouTube called like Titanic in five seconds? So they like, they sum up a Hollywood movie in five seconds. And it's just like, this ship will, this ship will never sink. And then it just cuts to, it sinking. Sinks. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much footage and up that mountain. Especially like, we had good weather in the morning, so I could see the mountain. I was sweating my balls off going up that farm. And the sun came out. The good thing it's like brief, it's like 20 minutes. Okay, everybody's packed up and we're about to start the cold, dark climb towards the summit. It's 3 a.m. now. And I'm gonna put this camera away. And uh, let's go. <laughs> Feels like it's almost vertical. And we're climbing uh, with our hands, just pulling ourselves up using the roots of these trees which are really handy, thank God. <laughs> and uh, everyone's sweating, everyone's taking off their layers. I've got my jacket wrapped around my backpack, and my hat stowed. Um, I think it's a couple more hours of this. <sighs> Do you remember when we began the climb and we used the drone shot and at the top of Mount Appa you could see that grey almost white cloudy area well that's called the boulder face that's the stage we're on now there's these huge rocks and boulders obviously and um, everything stinks of rotten eggs because it's sulfur leaking through the cracks in the ground and we're all climbing up here and there's like a, there's a fog rolling through. Almost feels like rain, but I think it's just fog. And yeah. If you do Mount Apo, guys, I suggest a <laughs> little piece of advice bringing some nose pegs because this yellow sulfur is so it smells so bad it smells so bad but it's okay the view makes up for it doesn't it the sun is about to come up we were supposed to be at a certain point for sunrise but that's okay who gives a shit <laughs> This settles the argument, beach or mountains. Mountains every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. Except for this rotten egg smell.
comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun. I said, <laughs> it's all right. Do -do 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 -do. Um, look, we are not anywhere near there yet. But who cares? It's not about the top, it's not about the summit, it's about the journey up there. Vamos! trickiest part is trying to figure out the way to the top. What I really like is that you know you're not following a guide, you're in a group, don't get me wrong, but you're not in a line following the next person. Everyone just goes at their own pace and there's just a thousand different ways to the top. But when I lose sight of the person in front of me, and I can't see the person behind me, I start to think I'm going the right way and these rocks make it super difficult this is really difficult guys I don't know if I'm going to make it to the top Okay, we've come down to this little lake. Really feels like we're in Scotland. <laughs> it's wet, it's cold, and it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> Last summit was hard. Hello, sir. Hey. Nice view. Nice view. If you do want to get this spot, you make sure you get down at six o'clock in the morning, put your towel down. Hello. 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 I see you at the top.
anyway. Okay, this is a nice moment. We'll be able to actually summit together. It's just me and the uh, other foreigner here. The Filipinas are having a bit of a break, but we pushed up to the very, 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 very top. There's a lot of false summits here. You, there's lots of different photo opportunities, but this one is the legit top, top, top. And by the way, the reason why I'm wearing my Newcastle United shirt is because this trip got pushed back a couple of days. Um, we were supposed to go Friday, Saturday and come back on Sunday, just in time for the, for the match. Because my team are playing Manchester United today in the Carabao Cup final. And everyone, all my aunties and uncles, they've gone down to London for the final. And because the trip got pushed back, I've missed the game. I've not been able to, you know, there's no signal up here, is there? So, I don't know if we've won or lost. I'll have to find out when I get back down to Davao City in a couple of days. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but anyway, I hope we won. If we didn't, it doesn't matter. We're having a great season. Eddie Howe and the boys, I love you. How are you the tune? Here she is, the summit. Welcome to Mount Apo Summit, 10,300 feet. The highest point in all of the Philippines ah, is here. Wow. Give me a little kiss. We're now gonna make our way down for the next day and a half and I'm gonna to listen to music and just power through because for me, climbing a mountain, the fun part is always the climb, the challenges and going down sucks. I have bad knees and it's just miserable. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next one, we're heading to El Nido. So, thank you, bye. <laughs>